10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, We've got a game that I think you're gonna like. This is called Water Womb World. Yes, Water Womb World. It's made by the guy that made Discover My Body. And I don't know if this is in the same vein as that or if it's something else weird, but this person that makes these games, James, I believe their name is, they have a great style and I like it a lot, so let's go. <laughs> Though I am a Christian man, I have long forsworn any contentment in its primitive superstitions. The mysticism, the rituals, I know they are all articulations of a deeper material fact. Oh. In older times, it was seen that the order of the scientific world and the perfection of God's plan confirmed each other at every turn. Well, I still believe this to be the case, although in quite an unorthodox way. Lexian, make sure you censor the Vitruvian man. I don't want to risk YouTube's wrath here. My lifelong work has been to find the origin point of man's fall from grace. It has taken me all over the world, but I believe I am closer than ever to finding the truth. I am heading deep into the ocean, into a region they call Gasper's Zone. Sounds like a Mario level, but okay. Is Gasper's Zone real? Who am I asking this? Who am I asking this to? I have everything I need in my submersible lab. I hope to find some answers soon. Who? Soon I will tread out on the holy seabed where the spirit blew life into the increate mantle. I have lit my path with the submersible's lights. It is a blessed day. Before I leave, I ought to fill up my tank and grab some nets for the specimen collection. I'm going to need both if I'm going to do my research. You got it, buddy. Refill tank. I refilled it. Research. I should find more samples before I begin my studies. Replenish nets. Sweet. Mirror? Oh, my, uh, I'm looking pretty good. You know, I am looking pretty good. All right, let's head out. Oh, even with my lights, it's still quite dark out here. Well, as long as they're on, I'm sure I'll be fine. Whoa, sift silt. I just have to remember that the entrance back into the lab is the furthest spot south. I hope to find some good specimens here, whether by sifting through the silt or netting some fish. I must remember that the live specimens will try to evade me, but I should not give up hope, as they cannot swim too far away. I must also remember that if I sift at one position, it would be a waste to sift there again until later. I should try to find one live sample via my net, and also two samples from sifting. That should be sufficient for now. Time to begin. May God guide me. Sift. I didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. Skaloosh. Oh, I found a post-Lipsarian Adamite skull. It looks quite old. It may reveal something. I will study it when I get back to the lab. Yeah, okay. Just a lab. We're under the water, aren't we? Great. Well, I, I need to move. I've forgotten. I'm breathing. Didn't find anything. Keep looking. Okay. Didn't find anything. Keep looking. Okay. Easy. Didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. Interesting. Oh, a dive mask. Likely an older make by the looks of it. It only has one large window to see from. Might be worth looking at back at the lab. Alright. I think I need to find a live specimen now. Okay. I don't like the sound. Throw net. Okay. There's no live specimens here. Not seeing anything. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Uh, throw, throw. Got him. I'll check it out at the lab. I have been blessed with a bounty of research. It's time to go back to the lab and begin. I can barely contain my excitement. All my life's work has led up to this moment. Back to the lab, baby. Even though I've been down there but briefly, I can feel God working in my heart and opening my mind. The original sin of man, the original temptation, was that God opening the mind too? I am alone here, 
but I feel the comfort of the Holy Spirit and the connectedness to all things. The human being was made in the image of God, a divine mirror of creation that was made imperfect by our sin. I can feel it sometimes in the strangeness of my body, as if I was once connected to the source and severed from it. It was as if I was once a thing rooted in a vaster hole, but I was violently removed and left to flow freely by my own. Well, as I have said, I should get back to work. Yeah, maybe you should! Yeah, all this pontificating can't be good for anybody. All right, you know, I'll, I'll, let's research. Beep, boop, 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 beep, boo. Adamite skull, partial, ooh. Fascinating. This person was extremely close to the source of Genesis, to the birth of all creation. Oh, partially fossilized remains of a son of Adam. Oh, that kind of Adamite, sure, contains 5% ancestral corruption. By approximate calculations, this human lived for about a millennium. I am, and was born ten generations after the primeval fall. High bone density suggests aquatic lifestyle. All right. They live to be very, very old and have only just a trace of degeneration. The bone density, yes, one of the pillars of aquatic Eid. Aqua Edenic studies is that early man lived underwater. Countless generations have passed since such a time, and the form the sons of Adams take now is very different. I can only imagine what it looked like to be so pure, so near the state of grace. I'll load up the next sample. Beep boop! Production date, mid 20th century rubber skirted dive mask ornamented with various Christograms. Biblical inscriptions. This mask would prove that I am not the first to explore Gasper's zone. However, this area is entirely remote, meaning whoever was here was here for a purpose. Judging by the crucifixes on the strap, I imagine explorers were sent here by the church. There are certain divisions in the Papal Conclave who are in the know, but some would prefer to occlude the truth from the world. Were these explorers eliminated by more traditional factions? And what did they discover? Where are they now? I'll take a look at the next sample. Beep, beep, beep. Ancient fish. Ancient fish? Damn. Damn! Carbon dating 10,000 years, laser vivisection yielded fish fed on native coral forms, hypercalcified bone, structure tensile strength matching modern metamaterials. This fish may very well have been alive during the time of the pre-deluge patriarchs. This very well may confirm the theory of Gasper's zone being located in or around Edenic ground. But how? Some of suspension of space-time? Or some biological deceleration of the aging process? I must conduct a more extensive search. Soon I should go out for more sim- Siren Head? How did he get under the water? <laughs> under the sea? What was that, a whale? It sounded even bigger. I should go check outside. Maybe I should- Wait, full stop! Hold on, hold your horse. All of your horse, just hold the- hold on to that. Why? When you hear a demonic cry from the depths of the ocean of which you are in, would you go check it? Why not go up to the cockpit and look? Why not have a camera that goes out and drones for you? All right, you know, I guess I should go. Oh, no. The lights are out, damn. But something stirs in me. Something should not be stirring in you, sir. Oh Lord, even in this darkness, I know you are with me. Your word is a light to my feet and a lamp to my path. Guide me. Okay. Ugh, hate. Hate it. No. No. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh. Hi. Throw the net! Throw the net! Throw it, sift it, silt! Oh. Son of Adam, I beseech thee. Your forebears abandoned the tree of life and ate of the fruit of knowledge. You walk a contrary path. You will leave this place or you will exchange one life for another. Die as a man or join God in full flesh. To hear the voice of your God is to return origin word back into the womb where words would fail. Know this now. I am but his created messenger. This is all I know. Summon of Adam, I beseech thee. I beseech thee. I beseech thee. An angel! <laughs>
Yeah, sure. An emissary of the Lord. Amazing. Their visage even matches the descriptions in the deciphered Genesis Apocryphon. What Genesis Apocryphon? What is a Genesis Apocryphon? What's an Apocryphon? Listen, what's an Apocryphon? Show me. Show me an Apocryphon. Wow. That's an Apocryphon. To see such sights, can it be possible? But what did their message mean? Full flesh in God. I can't postpone my research any longer. My search. I'm closer than ever and I will find the truth. I must find more samples. <sighs> yeah. How am I looking? Uh. Ah! Good. Nothing to say. No, be your eye. Okay. Replenish nets. Refill tank. Any research? Okay. Here we go. Time to change it up. I ought to find two life specimens and one object in the silt. I feel as if I barely even need this oxygen underwater anymore. Maybe, wait, well, stop, hold, hold the phone. I have not said anything about not needing no oxygen under the ocean. Ooh, sifting. If I didn't find anything. Sifting. Sifting. Oh. Interesting. This color is coral. Coral's color is similar to the red pigmentation I found in that ancient fish. I should collect it. Okay, so I need live- Whoa! Hey! Where'd you go? There- What? Hey! Whoa! Yeah! Got him! I'll check out this specimen when I get back to the lab. Oh! What are you? You weirdo? Excellent. Now I have to go back to the lab and begin my research. It's been interesting swimming down here. The dark and gloom is almost a comfort to me. I am reminded of Moses seeing God in the luminous dark. The undifferentiated infinitude incomprehensible to the created mind. But I believe I can know God, and I will know God. I will. I'll do it. Be BFFs with God. It is strange. Perhaps it is just exhaustion from swimming, but I feel a bit dizzy. A beatific lightness has entered my- <laughs> A beatific lightness! Oh god, this lack of oxygen in my brain has brought a beatific lightness to my mind. The knowledge I have gained over the years seems to fly from me. Just at a moment, I am learning the ultimate truth. Well, there's nothing to do but press on. Sure. Eh, that's not a good eyeball. <laughs> that's a bad eyeball. <laughs> that eyeball don't look too good! Anyway... Let's research, baby. Okay. Deathless fish. Wow. Cross analysis with previous fish sample. Fish age exceeds previous estimations. Born sometime in the Jurassic period. Cellular growth abnormal. Almost completely still. Stomach contents reveal more native coral forms. DNA contains proto-human proteins. Great! Amazing. Almost impossible. There is some common link between this life form and ours. I noticed as well this fish, as well as the others, are lacking eyes. Not unheard of among the fish of the deep ocean, but even blind fish can sense the difference between light and darkness. These fish lack that capacity completely. And more of that odd coral in the gut. What does it mean? There must be some... thing. All of a sudden I feel... Uh oh. Uh, unknown morphology. 50% of sample consists of coral polyp. Age again exceeds multiple geological periods. Secretion of unknown stone substance. DNA contains proto-human proteins. So old. Impossibly old. The Ancient of Days. Time seems to spiral out in front of me. The divine plan. Imprinted in all things. How old is it? The fish seems to have been close to the origin of life itself. I'll take a look at it. The next thing. Red coral, unknown, air, studded with proto-human neuron, hyper-capable of creating consciousness field, womb of God, error, error, error. Ah! Oh, that's not good! What does it mean? I can barely read this. My own sight seems to be failing. Perhaps decompression sickness? But it seems greater than that. Like the symbols of the world are falling from their place. I feel so... The light. Another angel? Oh lord, I could feel your love. I don't want to feel his love. Hello, me. Guess I'll go out then. Oh no, please. I don't want to feel your love. Hey. Ha. Oh, pretty face. Water womb world. Okay. That is the name of the game, you right? You right? 
Okay. Womb. Hunger. I am. I am hunger. Go and join angels. Join God. Ah, you know. Oh, no, I am. Oh, <laughs> wait, that's not good. No need. No need net. No need tank. No need research. Head out. Uh oh, must find it. Okay. Here I go. I'm gonna go find it. Feed on coral. You okay? Nom 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 nom. More. Okay. You get more. You want more? You get more. More. All right. Water. Womb. World. is so weird surreal and it's it's the feel like that's what i always talk about with horror games is like the feel like it doesn't have to look incredible even though this in its own way looks incredible like just i love the styling of it but it also is very simple but it's a it's the feel it's the feeling it's the feeling of unease it's the feeling of like what the hell is going on leaning into its weird world building and like whatever man like i don't care what the setting is man that's Oh, God, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a whole experience. It's a whole experience. I'm okay with a short game. It's a whole experience. Oh, my God. I really enjoyed that. I like that a lot. That was very good. Very, very good. Very good. All right. Moving on. Uh, oh. Uh, this is Hell Room. I am in a Hell Room. A, a room of hell. A hellish room. I don't know why I'm in a hell room. And I'm not 100% sure. Don't do that. Don't do that. You think you can just knock on my door. Rap, rap, rap on my chamber door. Why is welcome on the inside? Unless I'm not on the inside. Whoa, whoa. La, la, la. Okay, this good stuff, man. Thank you. La, 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 la. Are you hearing something? Oh. Oh, oh hi. Okay. What? 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 The hell world. What the hell world? What the hell world? Hell room. Sorry. What the hell room? What the hell room is going on? What in the hell room? Oh. What? Whoa. What? Oh. Hi. Hey. How you doing? Good to see you. Should I turn you off? Good. What am I looking at? What am I seeing? What am, what, am, what am I? What am I looking at? My my wall is gone. What the hell, room? What the hell? Okay. Well, if you're gonna do something like jump out at me, then you better do it quick because I got kung fu like reflexes, and I'll slap you in the next Thursday. So don't mess with me. Oh, I'm gonna give you the business, and the business is good. But bad for you, good for me. Oh, oh. Oh, oh hey, how you doing? Hey, oh, you're jiggly. I like that. I like a jiggly opponent because I don't like... I, I don't like you, actually. Okay, I'm just gonna go around. I, I'm just gonna... I'm coming right for... Oh! Okay. That's apparently it. Good. Weird. Weird one. 
All right, moving on. All right, this game is called One Way Ticket, episode one, like a sitting clock. So like Happy's Humble Burger Barn, I think it's a fast food restaurant kind of game. Closing time. Take out the trash. I'm sorry. What the hell is stomping my way? I don't like uh, any of anything. I don't like all of anything that's happening. Okay. Well, do I take out the trash? Where's the trash? Oh, the trash. The thing that said trash right in front of me. Damn, it's loud music. Dumpster. Trash. I'm taking out the trash. Taking it out. Chubby's chicken. That sounds pretty good. I'd be down for Chubby's chicken. Oh, hey, freak. You freak. Get out of here, freak. Freak. That damn guy in a chicken suit keeps coming down here. What a freak. What a freak. Okay, put the cash in the safe. Okay. They really shouldn't leave one person to do this. It doesn't seem very safe. One. Kuklunk. Two. Kuklunk. Kuklunk. And. Oh! Freak! You goddamn freak! Get out of here, freak! You freak! You're not welcome around these parts! Get out of here, you freak! Freak! I'll come out there. I'll say, hey, you wanna get bashed with the. Oh, yeah. Oh, you better run. Oh, you better run, freak. You better run, weirdo. You better run, loser. Yeah, you better get out of here. Alright. And three. I was trying to steal the money. Fill the mop bucket and mop the kitchen. Oh. Fill the mop. Okay. Oh, God. Ow. Where's the mop? Investigate the noise from the basement. Oh, okay. Hey. Who's down there? Who the hell do you think you are? I don't like this. I don't like this none. Are you a freak? With your freak ass? And your freak feet? Get the hell out of here, freak! What? Hey! Hey! Whoa! <laughs> Okay, all right, freak, uh, freak is angry. No! Oh. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Whoa. Did I slip in the mop bucket and then go directly into the fryer? True. True. <laughs> Wait, what? There's multiple endings. Wait, no, stop. Hang on. Wait, no, hang on. Wait, wait, hang on. The true ending is me slipping on the mop bucket that I filled up and then going face first into the fryer. That's what the true ending is. Wait, hang on. Before I keep going. Wait, there's multiple endings. Hang on. Wait. Oh, you get the false ending if you die. It's not even worse going. Ah, uh, you know what? Fine, I'm going for it. I'm doing this for you guys because I know how much you want to know the false ending. I know how completionist you guys are. You need all the endings. I get it. I get it. Hi, a noise in the basement. I wonder what that was. Hey, how you doing? Okay. True and false end, man. That's how you do. That's how you do. Considering how short the last two games were, I'm going to do one more. But interesting. All right. This is Allow Me to Sleep. Considering the other ones were so short, I figured I would do another one as a bonus to you guys. Welcome to the game. In this game, you are playing as Mike, who got insomnia problems. He could not sleep for the last five days. He'd try hard to do this, but some things wake him up at midnights. 
The doctor says that he has no any damaged in his brain part. Now Mike believed that his forgotten past causes to this. I <laughs> I believe there's brain damage because halfway through that paragraph, it just got worse. But go to the game. Let's do this. Hello? Allow me to sleep. Well, I can't sleep with that over my head. What is that? Is that my fan? My ceiling fan? Is that what that is? Oh, wants to move, interact, crouch, jump, shift, zoom. Oh yeah, that's my fan. Jeez, that shadow going across my bed. No wonder I can't sleep. This stupid thing. All right, whatever. What do we got here? We were good friends, but you betrayed me. That's all the motivation I need. That's all the story I've, I've ever... Whoa. Lean. Oh, cool. What is happening? What is happening? Hey, who's there? I'm going to stand directly in front of this doorway for whoever opens it. Who's there? Oh! All right, cool. Good. Good to know. Hey, what a weird house. Okay. I often keep the other doors in my house locked, you know, for various reasons. All right, cool. Got an interesting little style here. I'm not, I'm not too opposed to this. Hmm. Anyway, who's keeping me up? I just want to sleep, please. Allow me to sleep. L to switch light. Why would I do that? Why would I do, why would I do that? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Turn out the light and go back upstairs? I'm going to do it. What? Hey! Hi! Oh, hi! Hey! Hi! It's just my butler! Damn it! Jeeves, you scared me! How you doing, butler? <laughs> okay! Yeah, that's normal. Anyway, good night to you too, pal! Anyway, good night! Good night, guys! See you around, guys! Good night! This is different, it's the same note. Same note, you. We were good friends, but you betrayed me! It's been a long time. You must have forgotten what you did. Because life has been pleasant for you until this time. Everything you own is thanks to me. You're right, Jeeves. Hi! Oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, good night! <laughs> See you around! Good night! <laughs> Turn out the light! <laughs> Yonorama! Okay. Hey, what's up? What's happening? Hey, how is he? I can't see anything. What do I do? What? What do I do? Gotta feel around in the dark for the light downstairs? Is that what I gotta do? I'll do it. Oh, shoot, I got it. Can I? What's up? Party time. Ooh, again with that. Hey, my kitchen, off and locked. All right, interesting placement of everything. And a key and a soda pop. Delicious. Oh, and of course this game kind of runs like a turd. <laughs> I should have realized. All right, anyway, hey, what's going on guys? What is going on? I had a refreshing cola. Refresh, refreshing cola. A delicious refreshing cola. Oh, you're open now. Another cola for me. A key. Judge, why did you destroy the bodies? Judge, I'm answer- I'll answer you, Judge. Hold on. We were working for a mafia who killing evil mafias. Our task was to destroy bodies. Which mafia killed those people and who were your partner? I don't want to tell about it. It would be good for you if you would tell who were your partner and for who were you working otherwise. You will never get out from the prison. I'd rather stay in prison forever than betray my friends. Good call, dude. Good call. Great call, actually. Peekaboo. All right. Hey, oh, oh! The here's where I hid the bodies. In case you were worrying, Judge, they're right here. 
I never forget the day I heard you are the one who reported me to police. I got a life sentence because of your selfishness. You ruined my life and my future. I got a ton of beating in the prison. They made me wear the clown clothes and did much more bad things like those. Suicide was the only solution for me to get rid of this hell. I am now sleeping. Time to go to bed. I am now sleepy. This, this has been one hell of a bedtime story. Let me tell you, I am just woo-wee, sleepy. Sleep, sleep, bro. Press G to go to sleep. G for sleep. Uh. Oh, hi. Oh, please don't. Oh. <laughs> maybe it was a bad idea to go to sleep. Maybe. <coughs> maybe, just maybe. It might not have been the best idea to go to sleep. <coughs> Thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Three Scary Games. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got spooked. And just remember, five, five, four, four.